skills with Pastor Steve. <laughs> that is awesome! I'm so excited! I love art! Hey guys, welcome back to Mad Art Skills with Pastor Steve because I've got the mad art skills and I'm going to pass them on to you. Now today we're going to do something that's super fun, but it's all about inspiration. It's all about feeling the music because today we're going to paint by music. So I've got my paints, I've got the brushes, I've got the plate and I've got my playlist and I'm just going to let the music inspire me and you know what just between me and you there's a good chance that what happens here is gonna be brilliant it's gonna be brilliant all right let's get to it our paints ready purple everybody likes purple right I think <laughs> don't really know red great color everybody likes red you don't like red you have problems one of my favorite colors ever orange love orange and a little black and i don't know how about some silver right you like silver doesn't matter because i do now what we do is i take my brushes and you don't really choose the brush initially you let the music decide that so i'm gonna play the first type of music and i'm gonna let it inspire me and that inspiration is then going to appear right here before your it's my mom how, do, how does she know? Hey, mom. Um, hey, could you do me a favor? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing the show and I need my phone. <laughs> I'm painting with music. Yeah, I know you have to actually use brushes, but what I mean is, hey, can I just call you back, mom? How about that? Yeah, all right. Love you too. Bye. Just gonna play and just see what happens. All right, now we're gonna play a different type of music and just see what happens. All right, yeah, I really felt that. Feel the music. All right. I could feel that one. Did you feel that one? Boy, I did. That was great. Now look, I told you what could happen here. Could be sheer brilliance. I think I did it. Choosing different types of music, it inspired me differently. Just as I was choosing music to inspire me, Joshua was chosen by God. You saw in the Bible story, God had Moses to lead the Israelites out of Egypt, but God was training up Joshua to one day take Moses' place. And all those years, God was preparing him to do what he was chosen to do. And did you know that as God's masterpiece, God has chosen you? You know, if you've ever tried out for a team and didn't get picked, it's a bummer. Sometimes it makes us feel like nobody wants us. It makes us feel like we're not very valued. But guys, regardless of any of that, you have to understand that as God's masterpiece, he has chosen you. He's chosen you to have a relationship with Him. He's also chosen you to do something very special in this world. But you know, if I was choosing a team right now, and I was picking each one of you to be a part of that team, I could choose you, but you have to agree to be a part of the team. You see, God's chosen you. The question is, have you chosen Him? Because God's not going to force Himself on you. He loves you so very much. He sent His Son, Jesus, to die on the cross for your sins so that you could be forgiven, so that you could spend eternity in heaven with Him one day. But guys, it doesn't just happen because your parents know the Lord. It doesn't just happen because you come to church. It happens when you make a decision. You choose Jesus to be the Lord of your life. When you do that, you have chosen to be a part of God's team. And if you've not done that, you can do that today. And it's very simple. The scripture says that all we have to do is tell Jesus that we love him, that we're sorry for our sins, 
and that we want him to be the Lord of our life. And that means we're surrendering our life to him, saying, Jesus, I belong to you, and I want to be a part of your family. And if you've not done that, you can do that right now. In fact, would you just, where you are, would you just close your eyes? And if you've not asked Jesus to be the boss of your life, you can pray this prayer. Dear Jesus, I love you so much, and I'm sorry for the sins that I've committed. I ask you to forgive me of those sins. Just take them away. And I ask you to be the Lord of my life. I surrender my life to you. I choose to be a part of your team. Will you be the Lord of my life today? In your name, amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer today, you are on God's team. And I would love it if you would let one of the leaders in your room know that you prayed that prayer and that you made Jesus the Lord of your life today because you're his masterpiece. And I hope that you have chosen him. All right, guys, I'm so glad that you were here. Join me again at Mad Art Skills. Subscribe, like all that jazz. Stay tuned because I'm going to keep rocking your world with more Mad Art Skills. Love you guys. See you next time.